Hi, this is Peter Carter here for the Climate Emergency Institute. I just came across an extremely important and excellently done, unique, I think, animation by the Potsdam Climate Institute, one of the top climate impact institutes in the world. And this animation is called The Sea Story of Human Civilization. Now, what it shows is the incredibly rapid history of fossil fuel industrialization. And the intention, which it does show, is the incredibly rapid cumulative carbon dioxide emissions from 1750 to 2013. Why this is so important and useful is that it's not only showing CO2 emissions, this is showing cumulative CO2 emissions, and those emissions are from fossil fuels, and this is a graph of cumulative fossil fuel emissions from the Scripps Institute, and updated September 2018, and this shows the build-up of CO2 in billions of tons. So this is cumulative fossil fuel CO2 emissions from 1680 up to 2000. 2018, and uh, this gives a better impression of what cumulative CO2 emissions is. Carbon dioxide lasts hundreds of years in the atmosphere, so what's going on with the accumulation of CO2 in the atmosphere is like what you're seeing here. I do a narration over the video that has got no audio track, which I hope is helpful. So what you see here is the final frame of this animation, which is uh, 2013. The industrialization and the uh, emissions of carbon dioxide start with the United Kingdom industrializing with coal. And then by 1800, industrialization, again with coal, had spread to Europe. By 1820, industrialization with uh, carbon emissions is affecting the eastern United States. By 1850, we can see it spreading very rapidly across the central to the western United States and in Europe to the east and then uh, slower to western Europe in Spain. From 1870, we can see it in Scandinavia and spreading eastwards to uh, cover Russia and spreading down to India. From 1900, we see it starting in northern China and South Africa and intensifying in India. From 1920, industrialization and emissions spread to most of the world except for Africa, and though South African emissions are intensifying in Siberia. From 1945, a low intensity of emissions spreads through Africa. From 1960, emissions in China start to match the intensity of emissions in Europe and the United States, with uh, India tagging along later. From 1990 on, emissions spread to uh, involve and engulf the entire world, except for the Arctic, Siberia, the deserts, and there's even emissions from the Amazon. That will be deforestation and fires. So now we can look at cumulative carbon since 1750 up to the present time, 2013 in fact, and see where most of the emissions over this period of time have originated from. Now the first thing that's uh, very obvious is that the northern hemisphere has been the source of the vast majority of the CO2 emissions. Uh, relative to the Northern Hemisphere, the Southern Hemisphere has uh, emitted very little over this period. So who are the actual top emitters in the Northern Hemisphere? That's just not the top emitters today. That means the top countries that have emitted the most carbon dioxide since industrialization up to today over this period. Well, not surprisingly, England is one, Germany is another. Then we have the eastern United States. There's a small region in California. Uh, Japan is nearly as high as is South Korea. There's a um, small patch of um, very high cumulative emissions in uh, Southeast Australia, I think those are where the coal mines are. 
the now big industrial regions of central and south China are almost on a par with the very top emitters and in only a few years China's cumulative emissions w will have reached equivalence with the other top emitters. Uh, so these are the worst emitters in other words. These are the regions, the countries responsible for most of the global warming today, most of the climate change today, also the ocean acidification today because of course carbon dioxide emissions are acidifying the oceans. For the rest of the countries and for your review I'll leave you with this uh, map identifying the countries in the northern hemisphere. To repeat this is showing the carbon dioxide emissions from the various regions that have accumulated in the atmosphere from 1750 to 2013.